Hey everyone, it's Carrie, aka Nerdy Girl Creates, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's Wednesday Rewind, and we're going to take a look at an eight issue series that's one of my favorites Nightwing, A Night in Bloodhaven. Published back in 1996, written by the great Chuck Dixon, with art by Scott McDaniels, and features Dick Grayson, the original Robin and former boy Wonder, as he moves into his own city to protect. Little does he know, though, that Bloodhaven might end up being more dangerous than Gotham. What I like about this series is Dick Grayson is on his own. Now, we have seen him on his own before on some solo adventures in the past, but this time around, Dick Grayson finally has his own city that's desperately in need of a superhero. Bloodhaven might be more corrupt and far more gone than Gotham ever was. Dick quickly learns the gangs rule this city, and the cops are not going to help. He doesn't have a Jim Gordon to rely on, and everybody he comes in contact with is out to stab him in the back. Another thing I like about this series is that you're reminded that Dick Grayson is now an adult. He is no longer Robin. He's no longer the boy Wonder. He's a man. And he sees Bloodhaven and this mission as an opportunity to prove he can stand as a hero on his own. He's not depending on Batman, nor the Teen Titans, and he rarely looks for assistance from Oracle. Despite the fact that it was Bruce that sent him there in the first place, Nightwing is reluctant to let Batman show up in Bloodhaven. Even when he comes up against a gang war, barely survives drowning, finds himself wounded, and is haunted by nightmares, Dick is determined to prove that he is now his own man. Dick Grayson is alone. He doesn't have his friends, nor his mentor, and in this city, you can't trust anyone. Even when he reaches out to the police, he quickly discovers how corrupt they are. He faces new villains such as Lady Vic and the intimidating Blockbuster. I love Chuck Dixon's writing in this. He is hands down one of my favorite writers in the industry. I love how he takes Dick Grayson, the former boy wonder and leader to the Teen Titans, and transforms him into his own solo hero. We watch as Nightwing struggles to survive in a city he's not familiar with, and to deal with villains that may overpower and overwhelm him. Grayson also comes to terms with his past, as he's played with nightmares reminding him of his days as Robin and the death of his parents. We also see Dick Grayson mentoring the new Robin, Tim Drake, and passing down his knowledge to the young boy, but at the same time, being concerned for his safety. I love stories where you get to see the hero develop. They start off weak, naive, and scared, but then over time, they develop their skills and their strength and their knowledge to overcome the obstacles that they face. Dick Grayson is one of those characters. He is the original sidekick. He is Robin. And over time, he's gone from Batman's partner in crime to leader of the Teen Titans, and now as his own solo hero, Nightwing. And I felt this series was the one that actually cemented that. He's got his own city that is desperately in need of a hero. He is desperately wanting to prove that he can do this on his own. He o overcomes the obstacles that get thrown in his way. He sees hope where there is none. He learns to adapt. And most importantly, inspire. Now, as with every comic book I read, there is always issues. And the one issue I had with this comic series was the art. Not a big fan of Scott McDaniel's art, and I felt like for this type of story, we should have had something more serious. Um, but besides that, this is still one of my favorite Nightwing stories. These eight issues only make up Volume 1. The story does continue into Volume 2, and then there is a Volume 3 that follows, but Chuck Dixon only sticks around for the first two. As you might have guessed by now, I do highly recommend this story. So if you can get a hold of the first issues or the first volume, I'd recommend doing it. I know you can find it on the DC Comics app. I think it's even on Comixology. 
check your local comic book stores. Um, for the graphic novel, you could probably find it at a bookstore online. I do recommend eBay if you're looking for individual issues but can't find them locally. So tell me what you think. Have you read Nightwing Volume 1? If so, share in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye!